Welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. If your home or office is anything like ours, everyone is sick right now. I know that it's giving you a little anxiety. Those of us who are well, we're paranoid <laughs> about staying that way. Uh, we can do things to boost our immunity and give us a fighting chance. Dr. Edla Madrid is an acupuncturist and Asian medicine expert who can help. And you've got some of the key reasons why um, certain people are, are, are falling ill. I mean, sometimes you can't do anything about it, but the duration and maybe how susceptible you are, we can. Absolutely. So the first thing we want to talk about are what impacts our immune system. Okay. So if you're under stress, that's going to lower your immune mm -hmm. response. Lack of sleep, a lot of junk food, uh, poor hygiene. So if you have the kids running in and out, make sure that they're washing their hands, but not just that, washing the doorknobs. Okay. Things like that. And then recurrent illnesses. So people that are going from seasonal allergies then into cold and flu season, their immune system is already weakened. And that's interesting because I don't think that that connects with a lot of people. If you're an allergy sufferer, we don't think we're ill, but it is your body having to fight something off, and Absolutely. then we're more susceptible to something else. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about what we can do to boost our immunity. So four major vitamins. There are lots of vitamins that are good, and you can get these in supplement form, but okay. I'm going to talk about food, which are all common, which all kind of lead into the winter season. So vitamin A, very important antioxidant, good for eye health. Uh, so, fruits and vegetables that you could find it pumpkin, carrots, sweet potatoes, butternut squash. All festive Good and sources. delicious. Absolutely. Perfect and then this time of year. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, we all know as a great antioxidant. So, bell peppers, citrus, papaya, strawberries. All good sources. Nice. And the bell pepper, too, sometimes people forget about as a vitamin C source, right? Has a higher vitamin C than citrus. Oh, wow. Okay. And always better to do the fruit versus the juice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, vitamin E. Vitamin E is a great vitamin because it helps with the uptake of some of these other okay. vitamins. So you're going to find this in almonds, kiwis, broccoli, avocados, parsley, spinach, lots of foods have vitamin E. In so something like this, I mean, do you really need to be taking a supplement for it? I mean, these, this, these should be kind of staples in your diet, ideally anyway. These right? are staples. Okay. And so if you're incorporating these every day into your salad, into your omelet, um, then your immune system is actually going to be nice and primed. Okay. But if you're going into an office and everyone is sick, mm -hmm. I might be taking a supplement as Just well. Just in case. This is the time of year. So zinc. Zinc is also great because it helps with the regulation of vitamin A and vitamin E as well. So oysters, nuts, um, wheat, wheat germ, and then chicken soup. Okay, so chicken soup, of course, we've always heard that's the best thing to do when you're sick. Mom Why? was right. Mom was right because poultry and lean meats are the best source for zinc. Wow, okay. So now you take all these yes. and add chicken stock, and now you've got a great medicinal chicken soup. Perfect. Okay, mushrooms, and you've got onion, garlic, shallots. So these are antibiotic ginger. and antiviral properties. Really? Garlic and ginger, especially onion, shallots, and now mushrooms as well. Mushrooms like shiitake and reishi are being studied in Japan for anti-cancer and anti-tumor properties. Wow, so if you incorporate that in your diet, why wouldn't you? Absolutely. And last but not least, and I... I first tried acupuncture with you after many years of doing segments with you because I had five weeks of being sick this time last year, antibiotics for that yes. many weeks. The acupuncture, I feel, made a big difference. Why? So acupuncture, as soon as I put a needle in somebody, it sets up a very localized immune response. Now multiply that by 10 or 20, and now your immune system is humming. I love that sound of that. Music to our ears. Dr. Lamadrid, thank you so much. We want to head on over to Kylie. Good morning.